We have realized the touch of double rockers in the front. And the left joystick controls the player's movement. This lesson, let's realize the rotation of the character controlled by the right joystick. You find out. Player spin. Basically, it is to control the rotation information of the player node. The Y value in. And in the game. Get the direction vector of the right joystick again. To control the player's orientation. Now the question becomes, how to put the right joystick direction vector, convert to the player's rotation value. Let's start in the on update method of joystick controller, TS. Added the logic of the right joystick to control the player's rotation. Then click. Create a new method. The logic of this method, similar to the player movement logic written earlier. Just copy the code and modify it. Here you are. Player towards viewing direction. This calls the player's rotation method. Click Next. Will be in Player Controller. 
Create a rotate method. Come back here. The location of this method, it doesn't fit here. Let's change it to the following. Next, implement the logic of rotating the character. Get the transform object of the player node. In fact, this transformation is a transform object. Modify its rotation value. If the AI code prompt is installed in VS Code, write a character rotation. It will be automatically completed for you. I didn't install it here. Get the game object first, then get its transform object. Then modify the rotation value. This place. You need quaternions. about quaternions. You can use our official website API. Check the corresponding information. Search here. Click. This class is used to represent rotation. It describes a three-dimensional space. Rotation transformation. More knowledge about quaternions. Interested students can study by themselves after class. And we're not going to go into that. Everyone can use it for the time being. Test run. Save it. It shouldn't have been saved just now. Develop the habit of pressing CTRL-S at any time to save. 
Test Run Discovery The right joystick can already control the player to rotate. However, attentive students will find a problem. When we rotate at a large angle, player rotation is not silky enough, so fierce. So we're going to interpolate the rotations. The Quaternion API provides corresponding methods. This method. There is also this method. We choose this method. What does this method mean? The first is the quaternion that represents the start of the rotation. The second quaternion indicates the end of the rotation. Actually represents an angle. What about the third is one? Is the number that represents the interpolation between rotations. Let's make a few changes to this code. The purpose of interpolation processing to make it spin silkier. Just don't rotate too much per unit time. Since interpolation is handled, we need to define the angle of its rotation per unit time. Speed of rotation. Give it a wu. Is this the radian? Here they are. The first one is its initial orientation. The first direction. It's actually this one. To convert this rotation angle to only one quaternion. This is the end angle. The starting angle is this game object transform. Rotation.
and the angle at which it ends is this place. It's a quaternion. It's one of the original rotation angles from the beginning. Rotate to an angle we ask it to rotate. There's an interpolation. Interpolation. We'll just use one speed of rotation. Multiply by the time interval between every two frames. It is time. Then, we run the test. Okay. If it rotates, it will be smoother. Then, we delete some of the previous debugging output information. CTRL plus S to save. Run. This is the left joystick that controls the player's movement. The right joystick controls the player's rotation. Now we have achieved. The right joystick rotates the character. But. In the process of realizing the joystick control. And there are problems. Like we said before. The problem of high coupling between the joystick and the object to be controlled by the joystick. How to make code more elegant. Make the system more scalable. More conducive to later maintenance. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next lecture. Event subscription and publishing. It has a higher difficulty level. It is recommended that you preview it in advance.